just blue. Yeah. So we've got uh, he's going Alex, but you know Steve Alex, whatever you want to call it, um, versus the Bayonetta. It's gonna be an interesting matchup. I don't know if they've played before. They have. They've played okay. a few Gridirons in the past. This is now a couple uh, months ago. Uh, both, to my knowledge, have gone just blue's favor. Uh, going to be interesting to see how this goes. Obviously, starting PS2 here, perfect stage to start matches with. Yeah, no. Um, Ooh, nice kind so, of starter combos right now by Gooby, but just blue going back and getting some more resources. Yeah, obviously that's the name of the game for Steve here. Um, trying to build Diamond, trying to get as many resources as you can to start off the match. And he's doing a good job of it. I mean, he's staying grounded. He's kind of like walking away from Bayo and just grabbing more slowly. Already with gold, but Gooby's getting a lot of... like. He, I feel like he's getting more off of his hits so far than just blue is. Yeah, uh, definitely for sure. Obviously, you can see the percentages already. Um, Gooby kind of not super well known in Ultimate, but for those who don't know, I mean, he used to be Glare, which I think is his in-game yeah. tag right now, but he was New England PR in Smash 4, so he's been around for a while. With he's Bayonetta had, so, too. Yeah, with Bayo the whole way. Obviously, Bayo different in this game now, um, but Steve still not in Smash to 4. Be yeah, yeah, no, and so does Gooby know this matchup? We're going to find out. Obviously, look at the resources, the Diamond Gold already on deck, or Just Blue, and he's got the first stock. Yeah. And he didn't even have to use a diamond to get it so far. Gonna have to see how Gooby responds right now, getting a lot of these witch twists, but not putting himself in too favorable position. I was just gonna get back. Forward throw is gonna kill, right? Uh, just barely misses with it. Ooh. And yeah, finding that kill with Bayo, it's always gonna be the tough part. It, like you said earlier, a lot harder than it was in Smash 4, for sure. Yep. All right, another forward throw, it is staled. Yeah, no, oh, not gonna doesn't kill. even get the kill sparks there. He doesn't even get the, the crafting table out of there. Unfortunate. Back here, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah. so only 56%, not too bad, but here comes the diamond, and this is where it gets scary. I Steve mean, has had that time in the early stocks. Especially, yeah, I mean, just blue sitting at basically 0% now with a fresh diamond, and Gooby already at 80. This is going to be tough. You need to see him get some kind of Bayo combo, string him up in the air, bring it a little bit more back, mashes out of there. Nice air dodge out of the forward air from the diamond. That would have been hurt. Ooh, that diamond back air. That's tough. That's so tough. strong. Yeah. Now again, just blue with a clean stock ahead of Gooby and Diamond. And now, yeah, he can just play slow if he wants. He can get All these right. up tilt up air combos. Gooby getting out of the combo, getting back, but not able to reset neutral. He started off really strong, but I mean, once, kind of like the name with Steve, you get these good resources and it's really hard to climb yourself back. Okay. More mining coming in. Yeah, you see, you see just blue just kind of slowing it down a little. Takes his opportunities when he gets him. I'd like to see Gooby kind of deal with the uh, minecart a little more. Oh, unfortunate. No I, I noticed he was getting hit with a lot of minecart that first game. Yeah, definitely. A lot of minecart. I mean, once Just Blue got the diamond out there, you saw him getting a lot of hit. In. It's tough when you're down there. That's stuck. You want to try and bring it back in Bayo. Yeah. A little tough to do that with sometimes. Especially, yeah, when you're when you're down a full stock like that, Steve has diamond. It's really tough. Uh, he's doing. A, he did. Gooby did a really good job of kind of getting out of those up air combos, though. It seems for that first game. Yeah. No. He definitely. It definitely looked. I don't know if he was SDIing or what, but he he wasn't doing too bad in the, that regard. Um, it's just once he lost that first stock and lost the lead, it became so much harder. Yeah. All right. Let's see kind of how he adjusts and goes into game two. We're gonna go to Battlefield as counter pick, getting some Persona music. Always love to see that. And all right, they kind of just held shield right in front of each other. Yep. That is the the Smash Ultimate hold shield. In wait, basically. Ooh, all right. Just Blue started off with the aggression, but now Gooby's kind of leading back. And wow, okay, up smash, right? Up smash, hey, if it works. Yeah. Not, look how much damage those combos do so fast. And now you're in a rough spot already. And that's with wooden tools too, Singularity. He's not even, doesn't have anything else. He hasn't even really been mining. And wow, oh. I can't believe that hit. I didn't think that down. At least that first stock. Yeah, absolutely. Gooby now in a very tough position, but definitely not over. All right. Yeah, no, I mean, he can definitely still bring this back. It's going to be tough. Nice. Have to play it slow, but. I really like those extensions. Let's see if he can keep just blue at this ledge right now. 97%. Steve isn't that heavy. Steve I like it. He's a decent combo size, too. Mm. Um, so, you know, you can get some combos going if you do stuff. And look, he's already bringing this back. He can find the kill off the top here. We're he Smash does. 4 in here. Oh, wow. Ladder him up top. Steve is gone. All right, Gooby immediately with the answer. Got out of that minecart pretty fast, but took the fair. Let's see how he resets neutral now. Oh no. There it is. Yeah, there Ooh. it is. He's gonna live here. He should be able to get back. I mean, you get hit by any or most of Steve's tilts. It's it's tough to get it's, out of this. It's combat. scary. And 
There's another move that's scary that I've smashed. Not even diamond or anything. It's almost killed. But. And look how much resources just Blue just harvested. While Gooby was trying to get the stage. That's it. Yeah, that is one thing. Bayo, you know, while having a good recovery, it takes a little while to get back to the stage. So Steve has time to, to just mine, harvest. And then, uh, see, he's able to get that stock there. And now he has gold, diamond, and a bunch of iron. I mean, he's going to have accelerated cards, diamond tools. And he doesn't even need to use it for the stock, right? See what he can get for bonus. How is Gooby going to respond, though? He needs to get the stock sooner. All right, down air to space him out. Ladder him up. Do we get another Smash 4 clip? I think he can live. Yep. DI off the top. And the back air. That was a nice. good call yeah. out. Okay, diamonds are going to be on deck. This is kind of like what happened game one right now. How is Gooby going to change it up? If he can get a combo going and get some percentage on, he'll be looking good here. I like the Nairs as he's falling near stage. It seems to be dealing with a lot of Steve's options or what Just Blue's trying to go for. That mine card, he keeps getting caught by it. Uh, okay. Good, good. Rip to avoid the anvil there. Yeah. All right, now it looks like Gooby's kind of taking the driver's seat here. He's looking good. He's get, doing good call outs there, and they'll still be able to get the up ease. Yeah. And, and Just Blue's, I mean, he still has diamond, right? But he's expended a lot of resources. Harvesting right now, but he doesn't have much iron left. No more gold. Yep, yep. It wow. is, wow. Really, really good adaptation there by QB. He looked like he was just going to kind of fall how we did in game one. Yeah. But he turned it around each stock and was able to. I, I don't it think up. Just Blue's taking him to Battlefield. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, I, I don't think he wants to go there. Good for Bale there. Yeah, that for sure. That that seemed really good. I mean, great response by Gooby. Bring this back, make this competitive, especially. I mean, that game two started with him losing his stock almost. And, yeah, he could have easily gotten rolled over there, but, you know. I, I think you're just kind of seeing how these characters can, if they get their right in, they can kill you fast. Yeah, they can, Bayo can still blow people up off the top, off the side. Obviously, it's not, nothing near Smash 4, but, uh. It's still good. I mean, like we saw. He's definitely showing that, you know. Mm hmm Still do it with a character. All right, let's see what Just Blue's counterpick is. I don't think to see any character change. Uh, Just Blue really Definitely is, not. yeah, tried and true Steve. We, I mean, at locals you see him kind of throw out some Wii fits and stuff, but I think in a tournament like this, definitely going to see him stick with the main. Good song, good song. I like it. Yeah. Oh, the Enderman, yeah, the counterpick skin. Steve's got some good ones. Yeah. All so right. So you know he's getting serious. Yeah, yeah, he's ready now. Again, this is to qualify for top 16 winner side. I don't think either of these players want to lose this one. We're going small yeah, battlefield. Yeah, winners at a tournament like this, when you get top 16, top 8, is it does you know, make a difference, prize at, least pool. In the at least with the pressure that you feel at that point. Yeah, for sure. All right. Scrapped a little bit at the beginning. Looks like Gooby's kind of taking the neutral win right now. He's not letting Steve get on stage. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how um, Just Blue plays this early game. Is he going to try and play slower, try and... Uh... Ooh, nice, nice switch twist. He had that before Mithra did. Good parry into the up B. Okay, yeah, this is how Gooby's been Ooh. getting his, you Maybe know. SD's eyes out of that there. Yeah, I think so too. He's not getting any of the witch times here. He's gone for a few. He's not, yeah, he's just missing him. I mean, usually that's something you start to see come out, you know, the last stalker towards the end, or if you're really desperate. Um, so we'll see how that plays a factor later on in this game. Yeah, especially since he hasn't factor. landed one yet. I mean, one can be so important. He's keeping just blue at ledge a lot this game, though. He's really looked like he's taking control of this set, to be honest. Yeah. Something clicked, either something changed. It seems like he's just getting a lot of the... Like, he's laddering and keeping just blue high a lot, and he's not letting him... Harvest is much the back here. Wow. He's been playing really well in the air. Mm -hmm. Just blew away from him. Hitting him with the up ease, calling out, and then hitting back airs too to get the kills, which can be tough with Bayo, but he's only got 80% here, so only a that's a good start. You imagine now Just Blue doesn't have any iron. I think he's got to be close to getting some gold at this point. He has harvested a little bit, but he's yeah, expending. Yeah, I think so. Who he's really just almost running him down. He's playing a lot more aggressive, it seems. And he's taking the hits from these minecarts. Like he at now, on like game one, like he's still taking them, but he's taking it in the point where he's like, "I'll be fine right now. You're not going to be able to harvest because I'm forcing you to use cart on me." Okay, forty-two percent on just blue. Not too much diamond on deck. Not going to use diamond. it this stock. Or he gets him with right the minecart, and yeah, that's yeah. tough. So now, I mean. You almost think Steve might be favored here with the diamond coming. I'm obviously just about even, but... And the thing is, though, Singularity, he doesn't have to use it yet. He's got gold, right? Yeah, no, he can just hold on to it for now. Just the threat of it, too, mm -hmm. is uh, knowing it's, that it's he has tough. it is, is scary enough. Ruby doesn't seem too afraid. All right, didn't get to touch the platform, so we're not going to get super long ladder here. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, he has gotten hit by that anvil a few times, and uh, he maybe just a byproduct of the aggressive play. And he's getting a lot better with his minecart too, as this set's going on. I mean, he just sniped, just flew out of it that time. He didn't even get hit. Yeah, he is definitely picking up. Like, he goes for it there, gets the trade. Mm -hmm. I think he's realizing what he needs to do to deal with it, and, and just flew's gonna have to dap. Oh. Wow, and that. Okay. Rage. Minecart. Yeah, Accelerator. 160, though, and he just blew doesn't oh, have any tool. And mm. now you're, you're probably looking for a back air or something. Yeah. I mean, Bayo oh, able to go really far out there. Back air? It still lives. Up air, gonna yeah, kind I mean, of bring him back to stage. Even good at keeping him off stage, but uh. 206%. I mean, a forward throw? Yeah, he was looking for that. 214. You don't see this percent against many characters, but Bayo definitely it, one of them. I, Steve, is, Steve is lacking resources. I think he has his axe, and that's it right now. So, Gooby, the last thing, I mean, in Just Blue 2, actually, he's probably not gonna, he's not gonna harvest a resource, right? 200. I think he's dead here for yeah. sure, yep. So now I'll even, but here comes the diamond, I'm sure. Yep. All right, last stock game, three singularity, diamond on deck. Only 40% for Gooby. I think he can live. Yeah, he doesn't get hit by the anvil. Or the block. There, dodge to get back. Oh no, he needs to touch stage here. That block might... Nice, okay. It'll stand on the block. But a lot of harvesting done for Just Blue right there. 70% on Gooby. He's kind of in the driver. He's not going to die yet. Ooh. Yep. Wow. Good DI. Okay, yeah, really good DI. Just... Oh, wow. Diamond. That was like at 70 or 75 and yeah. back here. Oh, that's so unfortunate. What a great first set. Yeah, that was really great. That um, was that was a good one. Really good adaptation from both players. Just turning around right at the end. It was it was dead even. You know, they could have played a either best way. Of five and it would have gone to game 5 for sure there. Yeah, like you said, the adaptation that they both had throughout that set, you could kind of see just the small differences they were doing to adjust their play. And I mean, at the end, Diamond is really good, right? I think Ubi could have definitely done one or two things and stolen that. It would have gone either way. And uh, now we're going straight into pool two. So we've got half of top 16 is kind of set out. I'm sure losers might be finishing up. Yeah, there might be a couple more, but. Going straight into pool two, though, uh, I believe we've got Craftus, uh, Nelvin, Unleashes in this pool as well, I think right? 